I could be anywhere out on the moors in Dartmoor. There's not a single hint of four-star accommodation anywhere to sustain me. Nowhere at all. I'm out with just my wits, just like Bear Grylls. Five-star five five accommodation and first-class travel or I'm not doing it. <laughs> Welcome to Dartmoor. So on a very serious note, Noah and I have returned to the Moorland Hotel, um, which I'll show you in one second. And this is where we came um, in October. Now, last year we went to Scotland four times, absolutely loved it. But we, you need five days really um, to go to Scotland, or certainly we do. And two of those days are just traveling up to Inverness and back to Inverness, and then three days to sort of drive around in the middle. So we wanted somewhere that was nice for filming, scenery, somewhere nice and quiet and peaceful, um, car right on cue there. Um, and so we found this place, um, Dartmoor, and it really, really is lovely actually. Um, see those stones up there? We attempted to climb up to them. The only thing is, it's a bit of an illusion because the first bit of the hill, there's a sort of a dip there, and then there's a second hill to climb, and we didn't have the energy. So uh, we're going to try and put that right today. Um, but yeah, here's the hotel. I'll give you a quick look. And it is, <coughs> it's very relaxing, very peaceful. Um, so I'm just going to wander back over. Actually, I'm going to get over now. Ooh. It's deceptive because the, the road winds a fair bit. Um, and so when you think that there's a car just around the corner, it's always oh, turned off anyway. So this is the Moreland Hotel. So that's a free shout out for the Moreland Hotel. I think it's lovely. lovely. And uh, National Park sign just now. It does say, please lock the gate. So. Ooh. Trickier than it looks. So, good faithful murky over there. I've got some spare batteries in the uh, in the boot, and I've got the Volta as well. Now, I was watching on Rick's channel uh, just last week, and he's done this um, rather good wind cancelling thing and I'm not sure how my media mod's going to hold up because it's quite windy. Um, I think Rick's going to, uh, <laughs> well he, he said he's got some fur so that I can build um, what he did, a uh, little wind um, dead cat to put on my camera, but I'm actually hoping he's going to build one for me. So Rick if you're watching um, exactly the same camera, you know the size, um, <laughs> I went wrong didn't it? <laughs> you know the size of the GoPro. <laughs> Let's go to the hotel and uh, have a bit of a sit down, I think. Right, so I'm in the bar. Um, I'm not going to embarrass myself for too long because people will stare. Um, and I know I don't usually get embarrassed, um, you know, sort of doing this and what have you, but, but there are standards. It's a four-star hotel, so I'll, um, yeah, I'll give you a quick look at the bar because there's nobody here at the moment, so I can show you that bit. Yeah, that's nice. Um. So, I'm going to go back to the room. I'm whispering because it's a Sunday morning. Not everybody might be awake. 105. This is us. Say hello to everyone on YouTube. Hello. So, <sighs> breath going up the stairs. So this is our room, let me give you the grand tour. <sighs> no, chilling. A nice table. And it's an interesting view because 
can see the garden. There's this roof. That's not the best, but do you know what? I'll live with that. Um, this is where we keep the towels, apparently. Oh, do, do. feel free to pick the towel up. And this is the bathroom, and oh, might, might have been better to show you before it was all steamed up, but uh, I like those big double showers, and I particularly like this. This is a branded Hater Manor rubber duck. They had those last time, so uh, that's pretty cool. So this is where you saw it first. You've gone on holiday with a YouTuber and he's shown you the toilet and bathroom. It doesn't get much better than this. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, I'll right. come back to you in a sec. Father and son have just decided, and after I've had a two hour kip because well, let's face it, half nine this morning was quite early. Oh, particularly as we'd had breakfast then. Oh, I'm so tired, I don't know why. So, um, we're going to go out for an explore now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We've, we've um, slow, dumbed down, slowed down. I'm not taking all the camera equipment. I was very good when we came, when we came away, and I only brought the S5, two tripods, half the prime lenses, all the zooms. Um, Sennheiser mic, not brought any of that out, I've left it all in the hotel room, just using the GoPro and Noah's got his camera which is the M50. So we're going to travel light, we're going to do vlogging um, and if I see the most perfect, I don't know, sunset view or something, I'll curse myself later. But in the meantime we're going to go off and explore Tainmouth, aren't we, which is uh, half an hour away. Um, and see what we can see. So I'm going to set the sat nav up on the phone and we'll catch you uh, well, in a sec. See you there. Well, on to Tamworth. So we came out and we've come to Tamworth and uh, I'm just stood in front of the, the sea wall. The lifeboat place is right behind me actually and um, Noah's decided that uh, he's going to be doing some shots there. Look, hold on. So I'm thinking that if the camera, either of them, dropped down there, it wouldn't bounce very well. Probably smash and go in the sea as well. So. Uh... So we're now going to have a, Noah's going to try and get another one of those shots and I'm going to investigate what that lighthouse is and also I'm hoping this isn't one of those places where they have toilets and even with a radar key you have to pay 20-30p a time because I don't have one 20-30p um, and I don't like that. So um, we're going to have a look, try and find some facilities and maybe um, fish and chips in the car to say we've done it, maybe some rock. Uh, we'll see you in a sec. So, delighted to say we did find what we were looking for. But we've also found something else, and we're going to have a look in just a second. We might need to clamber under, I think. Oh! <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got Noah's camera in my pocket. I'm going to walk round. No, uh, I'd go. No. No, because I'll rip my clothes or myself. So we're going to walk around. So yeah, there was the lose. When I was, I was trying to say we found what we were looking for, somebody walked past <laughs> and I thought, I, as they were going in the loo, I, I, I couldn't do that. So we're going to go and have a look at these huts. I'm not sure what they are, but uh, they're quite strange because beach huts normally, you know, they're, they're just beach huts, but these are little two-story dwellings. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe something to do with the fishing. Well, uh, we're going to have a look, aren't we? Um, inside. Well, no, we can't really knock on the door and say, yeah, maybe come in, look over the house. Is, is it open today? <laughs> Will my National Trust card work? Um, we have all these boats and things. Um, so this is obviously part of the bay. Tame boat hire. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what these buildings are or were. The beach shack. Maybe we'll try something to eat in a second. But uh, there's a few boats there. I'll have a little look. cabins or something. Oh, actual like happy little mini houses. They're rather nice, wouldn't mind one of those myself. So Noah, yeah. we're, we're, this, this is a real little mini sort of fishing thingy here. Um, should we go and try and find some fish and chips or something? Yeah, let's do it. Fish and chips. Oh, we might have a look in the lighthouse place first. They've got a lighthouse. Um, lighthouse? Lifeboat shop, that's what I was trying to say. And uh, I couldn't go and look at the beach shop. What for food? Yeah. Let's go and look at the beach shack. We'll uh, we'll see what they've got and then, and then we'll look at the um the lifeboats um after that. Sadly we we didn't actually have fish and chips unfortunately. Um, it was £13 which was a bit more than I wanted to spend on fish and chips but uh, well no they'd sold out of that wasn't it? It was the burger that they had. They did have Prime although they'd sold out of that as well and we did just say didn't we that uh, maybe we could come back and uh, yeah. yeah when, when they've got their Prime. I mean it's only three and a half hours so we're outside the RNLI shop and I'd quite like to go in and have a look um, for reasons I will explain. Yes. So Noah's just asking me actually, we've just been to the R&Li shop and we bought some gifts. Now I'm a great believer in supporting the R&Li. No, do you want to pop them in, pop them in the boot? It'd be easier. Yeah. Great believer in supporting the R&Li. There you go, I'll pop those in there. Um, one of my, one of my favourite books, um, an audio book version, which I've got, and it's about this chap that goes around the shipping forecast and he says about all the good things that the lifeboats have done and obviously having had a boat admittedly in land I just think that they're the one charity that do a heck of a lot of good and people often forget that they're there but if I was out there and I'd capsized I'd actually really like somebody to come to my aid so we bought a few gifts haven't we some sweets and some other bits and pieces are we going to go and try and get fish and chips because we still haven't got any yet no it's fine we'll go somewhere else <sighs> okay we're going to go and go somewhere else so we'll get in the car and uh... and instead um we've got some meat and rolls um and uh, some milkshake and noah's got some chicken satays so we're going to uh we're going to have that before we get on with our next bit of our adventure. So I didn't take the big camera earlier, but I've got it there. We've seen something called somewhere called Becky Falls. We're going to go and have a look. Noah's looked it up on, on his phone and it looks quite nice in the pictures. So we're going to go and investigate. Maybe some photo shots. Uh, photo shots, photo shoots, photo opportunity. You know what I mean. We'll catch you in a sec. I'll be honest and say, this wasn't where I thought. We're trying to... We're trying to pull in somewhere to take some pictures. So, Becky's Falls is apparently a huge tourist attraction. It's also £10 for adults and £9 for children which is fine if it wasn't half past three, quarter to four in the afternoon. So I don't want to stop at that one. Um, so, what we, so what we've decided to do instead, we saw a couple of rather nice um, parking places, beauty spots, and there's one here. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna just park and we're gonna have a look and see, um, oh, there's my little doggy there. So we're gonna pull in here and uh, Right, go have a look at the view. <sighs> right, 
right. We found a rather lovely beauty spot and Noah has gone ahead of me taking the S5 with him. Oh, which hasn't meant me, uh, hasn't made me cautious at all, but it does mean I've completely lost my son and my camera. Oh, and I've no idea where he's gone. Oh, there he is. I can see him down there. Look, let's uh, hang on. Oh gosh, this is that vicious stuff that Rick introduced me to when we were away in Swanage. Gosh, it's everywhere. <laughs> Noah, you all right down there? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. It's a better shot. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a nice shot. I'm not going to go any further because of this awful stuff. I know what I do is you climb around it like that. Define around it. Like now this stuff, that will skag your coat. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, it's a brand new coat that I paid for. It's not fine. There you go. Okay, all right. An opening. An opening. Wonderful. Right, okay. If you really don't like... Oh, it's not... I don't damage my coat. <laughs> my son has just patted me on the back as if to say, yes, it'll be all right, Dad, don't worry. So, okay. You just move it out the way. Right, so we're going on an adventure. Oh. It's definitely a heavier camera, Dad. Well, it is, yes. And I'm not really used to the colour sights. Okay. Oh, I think... Nice. I, think I don't want to go too much further, if I'm honest, because... this. Yeah, but this is all just more of the same. We're just going down into the valley, so... Yeah, exactly. I was thinking... Just turn the... around, because you caught that and I heard a rip, I thought. Just turn around. Face, uh, face away from me directly. Oh, you're okay. Oh, so, so this, ooh. Ugh. so right, oh, right here, I found a rock, and I reckon Damon would like that. So, yeah, I think Damon would like that. We'll take that for him as a Zen pebble. It's quite flat as well, actually. Do that again without so yeah. Fitting. Having connection. fun with the camera? Yeah. Good. Have you got the lens cap or have I? No, I've got it. That's right. Right, we're going to go back up now. Are we? Yes. Oh. Ah, trekking through the undergrowth. Well, right, maybe not the undergrowth, maybe just a little tiny bit of overgrownness. <laughs> horrible stuff, horrible stuff. <laughs> Yes. We are very tired. We're just getting into bed now. So this is a bit of a cut across from uh, a cut to cut across. Oh, we're very tired. Um, yeah, we had a good day, didn't we? We we did some uh, loads of video, loads of pictures. Um, we had a, I think, really, really good walk. A um, couple of disappointments going to that place and trying them trying to charge us, you know, nineteen pound to to get in. But uh, never mind. Um, we had a nice meal. Uh, had some coke, didn't we? It was quite nice. Um, yeah, I think we're ready for sleep now. Um, let into let you into a secret. This morning, I got up at about 20 past six. No, woke up at about seven. Uh, went down and had breakfast, and half nine, <laughs> I got back into bed and fell asleep for two hours. And I've never done that. I think I was tired and just relaxing. So, yeah, it's, it's a good trip. Most needed, most needed. Um, we've had some lovely conversations, haven't we? We've got a couple of projects we're working on that we're going to keep, going to keep, uh, sort of, you know, sort of, Secret, yeah, under the hat. Not secret. The, sorry? Top secret. Top secret, top secret. 
Um, but yeah, so we'll probably reveal what those are um, soon enough. But right now, we are going to go to sleep, so we're going to say good night. Um, this is not the end of the holiday, not the end of the video. We'll be back in the morning, refreshed, not so sleepy. Um, we'll have breakfast and we'll go out and do some other bits and pieces, won't we? Mm -hmm. So, say good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning from a place of true hardship. We awoke in our comfy beds with quality duvets after a good night's sleep, having had, admittedly, only roast turkey. There was no sirloin steak last night, was there? I don't know how we survived, but we did, just about. Um, I think I need my dressing gown. Oh, no one needs his complimentary dressing gown. So here we are, let's, uh, let's pass Noah his complimentary dressing gown. D dressing gown? Dressing gown. These are softer than the ones at Carl's They are softer than the ones at Carl's So we have also become um, critics, if you will, um, hotel critics, um, and those giving consumer advice. I can't remember if I said hello from the duck, but this, um, I'm going to take this for Andrew. Um, I actually asked if I could buy one, and they said, no, we actually put them in the rooms for people to take for the children anyway. So I can't believe last time I was here, I didn't take one then. Um, but I did ask if I could buy one, and they said, no, take it for free. So, um, well, that's rather nice, isn't it? So, Noah is now sorted in his dressing gown. We are going to have some breakfast in a minute. Um, I would look at my watch, but I haven't put it on yet. I've just got out of the shower. So, um, yeah. Ten past. Ten past what? Seven. Ten past seven. Time to think about breakfast. We will uh, see you in a bit. So, time for a coffee. It's mid-morning on our second day of being here. Let me just work that out. We arrive Sunday. Today's Monday. Yes, we go home. No, no, we arrived Saturday. We had all day Sunday. God, I'm getting middle-aged. We arrived Saturday evening. We had all day Sunday. This is Monday, so this is our second day of being here all day. And we go home tomorrow. So I've just made myself a coffee with the nice Nespresso machine and I'm doing a bit of admin. I can't click the screen because uh, there's some confidential stuff on there so I can't reveal what I'm doing. Um, but I'm just doing a bit of admin, um, some for the clinic, some for some funeral bits and pieces. Um, I've been trying to edit um, as well some video footage that I took with the guys at the weekend when we went on the camp, um, the one-nighter camp, and I slept in the car. So there is a video coming up about me sleeping in an SLK. Um, unfortunately, the internet is fine for sort of browsing, downloading, it's quite fast, but it's got some sort of block to stop you uploading anything. Um, well, not a block, it will upload, but I think it was gonna take me something like 46 hours to upload the video footage. And it was only a few clips. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately I can't do any editing. But I have got um, a phone call at two o'clock today. Um, it's, oh, not time is it now, it's about half past 10. So, so we, we decided, decided we we'd gonna... stay around the room today. Not got an exact plan. Maybe we'll go out later. I think when I've had this phone call at two o'clock, we can go out and we can go and have a look at some more, yes, shots of nature and what have you, it'll be quite nice. Um, Noah has decided, because um, we've been playing these games to occupy our time, um, Noah has decided that the lead down arrangement is the most comfortable. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think he's feeling very well actually, bless him. Um, maybe, uh, uh, maybe maybe see how, uh, how he is later. But uh, are you feeling all right now or a bit? Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't terribly well this morning, actually. So, um, so yeah, that's probably sort of fueled the reason that we've just stayed where we are, really, and not gone venturing. So, yeah, but that's this um, little update. Yeah. We will go out this afternoon. We'll do something. We'll come back to you. Hopefully, there'll be some nice views. Um, maybe we'll talk about something interesting this afternoon, or maybe we'll just bumble along, <laughs> bimbling like a middle-aged bloke 
and his son. Um, we'll, uh, we'll catch in with you later. And that pretty much sums up Noah's mood. We did say we'd go down and get a, a coffee in a minute, or uh, well, I've got a coffee, um, a Coke is what I mean. I think we feel flollopy, yeah. Flollopy just... It's that point of the holiday where, and I think we, you know, we always get to this. I don't know whether you know, any of you, when you're on holiday, this. You look forward to going, you're really excited, you get there, you want to do things. And I'm not somebody that relaxes easily on holiday. I'm always wanting to do something. But then it gets that midweek point or sort of mid-holiday point where you go, oh, yeah, I've not got long before I go home now. And you, and you really start to relax and, and then you've got to go home. So you, you almost don't enjoy the relaxing bit for fear that you've got to go home soon. So I think we've sort of reached there, actually. Um, I think we might go and have a Coke. How about that? Mm. Right, we'll go and have a Coke. We've decided that we've been in all morning and we're now going to go out for a little bit. Um, haven't we now? Mm -hmm. Yes, we've decided that uh, we've had too much luxury and sitting down and indulgence. Um, lunch was very nice, but we need to go out and get some fresh air. So um, in the car and off we go. Sadly, this trip is nearly at its end. Careful on these steps. I've just seen this giant chessboard there. And I'm uh, not sure what that is. Swing ball, I presume. But um, anyway, I just wanted to sign off this video and say we've had a lovely trip. But I wanted to just go for a little walk across the, the lawn here. Last time we came here, um, it's October, and it wasn't quite as cold. And Noah and I did come and we sort of had a wander around. We took loads of video footage last time, but it, <laughs> we, we didn't really have much of a story. Whereas this time, I think I've had more of a story, but I haven't done so much video footage. <laughs> it's ironic, really. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a lovely spot, this, the Moreland Hotel, um, Hater. Um, I'm going to go down to that little gate in just a second, but uh, this is the back of the hotel. And it's just a really nice, quiet, peaceful spot. And I think for Noah and I, we just, we needed a break. And oh, metal work there, look. I don't know if I like that or not. But, uh, yeah, it's been a lovely trip, very peaceful. Um, we started off with really good intentions. We did lots of bits and pieces of, um, of video footage, but we, we sort of stagnated <laughs> midweek. Um, but I think that's okay. We, we sort of reached the point that there wasn't a lot to say, really, but um, we were just enjoying the break. So, sorry there's not more footage, but I wanted to come and have a look down here. So this field, obviously, I think it must be part of the hotel. There's a football there. Obviously quite a deflated one. But uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice spot. I've enjoyed the break. Um, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I'm looking forward to booking the next trip. Um, but as is always the way, isn't it? You, you sort of finish one holiday and uh, <laughs> you're really ready to book the next one. Um, ooh, my little, I've got this little thing here which plugs in and uh, it has a habit of poking its way around the front. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm already looking forward to the next trip, I think. 
Um, there's loads of bits and pieces, all the boring stuff, the work, the admin that I've got to do when I go home. I did do some work this morning actually about seven o'clock, but um, yeah, so that's it. I am sad, I don't want to go home if I'm perfectly honest. We'll just take a last little look and uh, for a sign off I'll just say thanks for watching. hope you've enjoyed this little video, um, a little father-son adventure. I'm always very, very conscious that uh, as Noah's getting older he might one day not find this fun. But he did say he'd enjoyed himself and he enjoyed just pottering along, relaxing, so that is good. Yep, that's it. Um, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.